Hello and welcome back. Today what we're going to be doing is hooking up the Cintiq to our laptop while at the same time having a larger monitor act as a secondary monitor. When you first order the Cintiq it comes with an adapter that allows you to hook it up to your um, computer, your laptop, Mac, it really doesn't matter. But it hooks up as a secondary monitor. With the Mac, you need a special adapter that hooks into the back of the Mac because the back of the Mac does not have a VGA adapter. So you have to buy a separate adapter. It really doesn't cost too much. I got mine for $12.95 at Fry's. Uh, so it's not really that expensive. It's just a little bit of a hassle in order to hook up a secondary monitor to the Mac. But for PC, it's a bit different in that you just have your VGA adapter that comes with the Cintiq and you hook it into the laptop. The problem is though, I want to also have my larger monitor act as an extension of my desktop. So you have to have at least two items. On your computer, you have to have an HDMI adapter. If you don't have an HDMI adapter, then you just need another VGA um, adapter uh, or uh, input. The HDMI adapter that's inside of the computer, uh, we're gonna hook that to our larger monitor and use it as a projector. So now we have an open slot for VGA and that's where the Cintiq will go. So we're going to hook the Cintiq up to the VGA input of the computer. So now not only do we have the monitor here, we also have the Cintiq monitor here. So now I can use the Cintiq um, as a pad and as a monitor while I'm drawing on it and I can also use my larger monitor. Now when you first hook it up, it may seem odd that you don't see the Cintiq up on screen. Well that's fairly simple. If you look in the back of the Cintiq, there is a, um, there's a, a, a few buttons on the top right here. And those buttons have uh, different functions like select, auto, menu, and stuff like that. But on the final, the last button, there's a button that's called DVI VGA. You click that. Now watch what's going to happen. The laptop is going to turn off. This is going to become a secondary monitor and the Cintiq will become the primary monitor. So let's try that after hooking it up. And there we go. Now with the Cintiq as a primary monitor, this as a secondary monitor, not only can I just use it regularly, as you can see, I can drag and let me open up a window that you can. Okay, so I have this window open now. See, I can drag it from one to the next. So I can use it as a secondary, mo a primary monitor, secondary monitor. The only problem is you can't use it as three monitors unless you have a, another VGA adapter. The laptop is off. The monitor of the laptop is off, but that's that's okay because I wanted that. I didn't want to have to use the laptop. Um, I accompany that with a USB keyboard and a USB mouse, so I never really have to touch the laptop. It's really just being used as a processor. I can use the pen, this antique pen, to pretty much do whatever I want now. Now I can move things around. I can open up Photoshop, and this is kind of the setup we're going to have when we do the rest of the tutorials on Photoshop and 3D and After Effects. Um, I don't really need this for After Effects, but remember, I'm only I'm using it as a monitor and as a pen tool. So there you have it. Cintiq hooked up to the, uh, the laptop. Also, a secondary monitor hooked up to the laptop. You need two things. You need to make sure you have an HDMI adapter uh, or connection into your laptop or computer or a secondary VGA. And also, you need to make sure that you hook up your larger monitor to the um, HDMI and then hook up your Cintiq to the VGA and then you're set. If you guys have any questions go ahead and email me or put a put something up on YouTube and I'll respond as soon as I get it. Thanks. See you guys next time.